Welcome, this is Ramya Murthy for Trinity Mirror News. Minority Affairs Minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakhvi said that there will be no subsidy for Hajj from this year. Nakhvi told reporters that despite the subsidy withdrawal, a record number of 1.75 lakh Muslims will undertake the pilgrimage this year from India. Nakhvi also said that the Saudi Arabian government has in principle agreed to allow Hajj journey from India by ships and officials of the both the countries will sit together to finalize the modalities. Earlier this year, Nakhvi had said that the center would abolish the subsidy for Hajj pilgrims in accordance with the Supreme Court order. Scribes boycott Mewani meet after he asks TV channel to leave. In a show of solidarity, journalists boycotted a press meet to be addressed by Gujarat MLA and Dalit leader Jignesh Mevani after he refused to talk in the presence of an English news channel. After a closed-door interaction with students and academicians, Mevani had agreed to a short media meet. Mevani asked the reporter of an English news channel to remove his equipment and the legislator made it clear that he will not talk in the presence of that TV channel since it was his policy. Following the incident, social media was flooded with comments supporting Chennai media for boycotting the event. Dense fog enveloped the national capital, leading to cancellation of 13 northbound trains. The mercury also dropped to 5.6 degrees Celsius, two knots below the season's average. According to the Northern Railways, 13 trains had to be cancelled due to the poor visibility while 21 trains are running late. The timing of four trains was rescheduled owing to bad weather. At Safdarjang Observatory, visibility was recorded at 200 metres while the same recorded was 650 metres at Palam Observatory. According to Metrological Department, the skies will remain clear throughout the day and the maximum temperature is expected to hover around 23 degrees Celsius. We'll resume back after a break. I'm ready. Polama. Ipreva. Hmm. Kovil ka. Hmm. Kovil ke po me traditionala veshti kati dha varno. Room la Ram Raj pocket veshti vechirke. Amblea lakshanama kati twanga. Vimayil dari sanam vedu dalam vasam. Welcome back. Parents in trouble face difficulty in dropping children to schools amid driver's strike. Parents and guardians encountered trouble when they were bound to drop their children to schools in Madhya Pradesh, Bhopal in the morning. The trouble came after MP School Drivers Service Committee announced strike in protest against new regional transport office regulations. In view of the problems faced by parents and students, several schools announced holiday. Major fire breaks out at a factory in Delhi's Udhyog Nagar, 27 fire engines at the spot. A major fire broke out at a factory in Delhi's Udhyog Nagar area. Around 27 fire tenders were rushed to the spot. The police and fire brigade officials said that the area has been cordoned off and people living nearby were asked to evacuate. The major fire that took place in the industrial area of Delhi's Udyog Nagar and there are no reports of any casualties. Most of the reports suggest that the fire had engulfed the entire factory and right now it could not be confirmed whether there was anyone inside the factory at the time of the incident. Two dead in suspected gas blast in Belgium's Antwerp. Police said that Belgian rescuers found two dead bodies at the site of a powerful suspected gas explosion in the port city of Antwerp that also injured 14 people. The blast, which police say is not linked to terrorism, collapsed or severely damaged several buildings in the Paden Market area of central Antwerp, a Dutch-speaking city in northern Belgium. Police confirmed two more victims found under the rubble, both deceased. The victims have not yet been identified. Several people were pulled alive from the rubble on Monday night. Well, that's all for the news bulletin. Thank you.